Hey everyone, welcome back to Dub Support YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to cover some Hippo video reviews. So I've actually done all the hard work and scoured the web for some really quality reviews. So I don't actually treat all sources equal here. Um, sources like G2, Captera, you know, verified sources are really the best. And that's where I've pulled today's reviews from. So you can see I have uh, those guys pulled up, ready to go. I've actually scoured through all these, found the very best of the pros and cons and compiled them together in a list. Now, while we're looking at that, we're also going to be taking a look at Dub on the side, you know, because they're related. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at just some reviews. Now, I won't pause this. I mean, I won't go over every single one of these and read this. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to. Um, but they're here, pro, cons on the left, pros on the right. So the two platforms actually have much more in common. Um, and we actually have done a full video of a comparison between those two. So definitely check those out if you need some more information here. Um, so he, here's the list of, of the compilation of the very best of the reviews. So I... Now, as I described in my other videos, the, the editing feature is really the only thing in, that Hippo does differently than other players in the video space. However, this seems to be both its greatest strength and weakness. Uh, the takeaway from these reviews is that, that there's some frustration with the uh, editing process. It can take a really long time. It can freeze. Um, it can actually have you delete your videos. So um, lots of kind of issues with the video editing stuff. Um, and on the con converse, you know, the, the pros, people like the editing feature. They like being able to kind of edit it in one place. Um, but yeah, that really seems to be the source of both their good reviews and the bad reviews. A lot of it is around the, re um, the editing. The other thing is the lack of automation comes up a couple of times, um, some speed issues, and then also pricing because there was a little bit of confusion. They had some tiers before like marketing and they only needed individual prices and things like that. So um, you'll find those if you sprinkle through the reviews. Um, and the other, the other pros are, you know, they appreciate the features, they appreciate the versatility, because um, much like Dub and some other video marketing platforms out there, there is a lot of functionality you're getting. Like you can send out campaigns, you can track it, you can brand it, calls to action, lots of really cool um, features. So that is a commonality between the two. Everyone appreciates the versatility of these platforms and how they can do just so much. Now, what about Dub reviews? We said we were going to talk about Dub, so definitely check that video if you haven't already, but let's go ahead and jump into some of the reviews here. Now, um, this whole thing on the right, this is just one person's review. Now, pe people really rave about Dub. It's, it's not just they think it's okay, they, they think it's a cool product. Definitely check out some of these stories. People really have awesome things to say about the platform. So go to G2, go on Google, find the reviews. Um, they're going to be like this. They're, they're stories. They're, they're life-changing, and people really love the platform. Um, now, what about the cons? So a couple of cons. There's definitely one consistent element here, and it really um, seems to be that the, the app was an issue. So frequent app updates uh, due to bug reports and things like that required uninstalling and reinstalling the app or it not being available on certain devices like Android or certain versions of Android were behaving differently. Things like that um, cause frequent updates. Um, however, due to all those updates, the app has made tremendous progress and is now fully stable and functional on both Android and iOS. So that being one of the biggest complaints with the platform now uh, being resolved, uh, definitely worth another round through here. By the way, a Hippo does have an app as well. Um, very basic functionality though, just the ability to kind of record a quick video or you can select from an existing one. Um, Dub's mobile app is going to have a ton of functionality, multiple clips, text overlays, all kinds of really cool stuff we can do on there. Um, so with that in mind, I we, like I said, we provided the, the Hippo reviews. Um, the, the main problem and also their, their greatest strength seems to be the editor. Um, one, of, one person put it really well, actually. They said, you know, there's only so much you can do with this editor. If you want to really edit, you're going to have to go offline for visual effects um, and, you know, video editing platforms first. That's what they were built for. Um, and then upload to these platforms. So, I mean, if you're going through the trouble of that, uh, you might as well not be paying a monthly fee for it online. So I hope you guys have found some value in this video and definitely check out a free trial at dub.com. Get access to all these features and training um, during your free trial. So thanks.